IT security is a major cause for concern for companies, and it is important to ensure a good level of security to protect against hacker attacks and industrial espionage. But should companies aim for perfect security? This is not sensible, Carsten Knoll from Security Research Labs tells Dot Magazine. Perfect security is obviously an academic definition of where we need to go and in real life it's a lot harder to reach any meaningful level of security as everybody who has ever worked in security can attest to. Um, and companies who try to achieve perfect security, they're usually over-regulating their own companies, they're trying to make them possible possible and thereby slowing everybody else down. So setting a realistic expectation around security is uh, fundamental to, to managing security. And so in, in a sense, if you've never been hacked, chances are you're trying too hard not to use new technologies, not to ever take any risks. And maybe not getting hacked, not taking any risk is worse than hacking incident could have been. So how can companies balance security and innovation? To balance innovation and security, um, first you gotta realize what your security level is. And if you've ever done any kind of pen testing or red team hacking, uh, you understand that hackers can break in within a matter of days or at most weeks. So in bringing about innovation, you must not aim for anything much higher than that. If you know that you can be hacked within, let's say, a week, build all the new systems to withstand hacking to, let's say, two weeks but not beyond that. Don't ask for protection from quantum computers. Don't try to, to defeat the NSA. Don't try to make them possible. Uh, possible. Don't boil the ocean. Right? Set realistic expectations and within those realistic expectations, let innovators innovate. Don't artificially constrain their ambitions. Companies certainly face challenges in dealing with older technology in which known vulnerabilities cannot necessarily be rectified. So how can a company deal with the security of their legacy systems? Companies usually respond to the understanding that legacy is a problem by trying to switch off old applications. And that, in my experience, has never really worked. Even though you can build a new company just based on a few dozen applications, larger organizations have accumulated hundreds of applications and in one way or another rely on these applications. So instead of trying to, to prune that sprawl of applications, they should prune the sprawl of technologies, modernize older applications, move from multiple database technologies to single database technology, aggregate your middleware choices, introduce good, meaningful architecture, not just for new applications, but retrofitted on old applications. So keep whatever functionality you need, but modernize the technology bases. That's the best way, in my experience, to deal with those vulnerabilities that automatically arise from legacy. So, according to Carsten Knoll, 100% security is not a goal worth aiming for. Set realistic expectations for company security, take sensible security measures and still allow space for innovation.